Hello everyone, this is Ares Trivia, and today we're going to take a quick look at there the new Warband no unit mechanic coming to Greater the Warrior of Chaos mind. rework in the new Champions of Chaos DLC. Now at a base level, the Warband mechanic has two parts. First there is a new Warband recruitment pool where every turn you get a set chance called the replenishment rate to acquire a new unit of each type into your recruitment pool. The number and types of unit available in any given province as well as their replenishment rate and unit capacity are all affected by local corruption, climate, and buildings. But as you might have also noticed, only low tier units are available for recruitment because in addition to this new warband recruitment mechanic, there is also the warband upgrade mechanic where you can now upgrade your lower tier units to more premium units as they hit preset rank and technology requirements. Each upgrade will only take away the required rank amount from your units, so if you are over leveled, you can keep those additional ranks to help you reach the next tiers. Lastly, for every legendary lord in the new Champions of Chaos DLC, their warbands can also be marked for the Chaos God associated with their faction. Not only will this provide you with a wider variety of unit choices beyond the Mortal Warrior of Chaos roster, you can also use this to take advantage of the Dark Authority bonuses provided by your lords and heroes that are embedded in any given army. Overall, this new mechanic creates far more attachment to every one of your troops, as they will now grow and upgrade throughout your campaign, and losing a fully upgraded army in the late game will now come with devastating consequences for the Warrior of Chaos factions. And while this was just a short introductory guide to the Warband mechanic, starting tomorrow I'll be doing deep dives into each of the upgrade trees starting with the Undivided Mortal Path, where we will look at all the available unit stats in much greater detail and talk about which units you should invest in in your campaigns once the Champions of Chaos DLC drops on August 23rd. So until then, bye!